Those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Anybody that makes this type of comparison, we are not going to get along. I can just guarantee it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash I am a total POS because there is no hope for this world and it's all going to end in a big meteor shower. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and start up the wholesome internet discussion. Maybe make a new friend along the way. If you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications. Okie dokie, let's go. I want him to die. Ohio woman accused of leaving her pit bull to die in a hot car as punishment. A woman allegedly shut her dog in a hot car as punishment and did a figurative 180 by pleading with cops to get the animal out. Remember the thing I've been saying all this time about not doing it to your kid, don't do it to your pet? They, yeah, I'm still standing by that. Because honestly, something like this definitely should be shown on a criminal history and definitely is something that should come up if you are looking to adopt an animal. If they look into your criminal background history and then see that you did this, yeah, you're not getting the dog. I know that there's some sort of background check when you do dog adoptions or going to get pets or stuff like that. I don't know if it's this thorough though, although if it's not already, I really wish it was. I hate thin people. So after my last thin privileges post about how thin people move themselves, people have been saying, but some thin people have depression. What I hate thin people more now. You are blessed with a nice body. Why would you go and get depression? You people disgust me. You should be grateful for what you have and not self-harm or have mental illness, you ungrateful, privileged idiots. I hate thin privilege. Yeah, you know, because, uh, you know, anorexia ain't a thing. That's totally not a big issue. Honestly, this post had me thinking back to the fat logic videos I was thinking about bringing back. Uh, let me know down below if I should bring them back because honestly it's been good weight loss motivation so far i've lost five pounds starting to feel better about myself just uh, baby steps it as a neurodivergent when i'm told to do a task i was already planning on doing i no longer wish to complete the task because for some reason it feels like it's not my choice anymore maybe the prb with the mask and a vax campaign is no one considered that like 75 percent of us are on the spectrum or have a ADHD. You're really trying to compare this to like when the little kid cleans his room versus when the kid is told to clean his room. You're really trying to do that and you're also saying you, you might be on the spectrum for ADHD. That's not something that you try to self-diagnose and then use that to justify it. The retired magistrate in an interview with A Current Affair says he deserves a portion of this person's superannuation benefit. A former Victorian magistrate, this person, has broken his silence about his relationship with a court clerk for 45 years his junior, saying he deserves a portion of her superannuation death benefits. The other person, who retired recently, claimed in an interview to be aired on a current affair on Monday night that authorities thought he deserved all of the other person's $180,000 payout. Mum left girl to die to party for six days straight. A mother who left her daughter alone to starve to death as she partied for six days has been jailed. Blank admitted the manslaughter of 20 months old blank who was left at her Brighton flat as she celebrated her 18th birthday in December of 2019. She traveled to London and Coventry and she acted like a carefree teenager, Lewis Crown Court was told. Blank of no fixed address has been jailed for nine years. Judge Christine Leanne Cusey told Cootie, I honestly can't read the rest, that was a helpless child who relied completely on you as her mother to provide for her needs. She said, it is almost unbearable to contemplate played her suffering in the final days of her life, suffering that she endured so that you could celebrate your birthday and the birthdays of your friends as a carefree teenager. I'm guessing it cuts off there. Yeah, honestly, it really is unfortunate when some people don't realize when you have a whole baby that you have responsibilities and either you get somebody to take care of the kid while you're away or you don't go away. Not anything like a car where you can just park in a garage for two months and it'll be fine. My husband now licks his debit card before handing it to any masked cashier. It's funny to see their Armageddon horror eyes. Brilliant! I'm too shy to do that, but I will do a routine where I'm picking my nose and sticking my hand in my mouth before handing over my card. Also, I've started sneezing and coughing a lot in this kind of scenario. Yes, because the cashiers are definitely the ones that are forcing you to have to do all this. I am fairly certain that a lot of businesses are allowed to deny currency in the 
event that that currency is tainted, like examples being this lovely two people here. This being one of the reasons why I actually really like the contactless payment methods, but uh, the main tricky part is the majority of people have a little trouble working that little card reader. Seriously, if anybody wants fine examples of stupid work retail, you'll see the wonderful people where you wonder how they got a driver's license. Dark red suitcase stolen with deceased dog inside. My dog died last night. I put her in a dark red suitcase to take her to the vet to be cremated. I put the suitcase on my porch to wait for an Uber. Someone stole the suitcase. Honestly, it really does suck that in a lot of instances, unless it's bolted to the floor a lot of people will try to steal it and seriously just there's some stuff you should not grab like you know stuff that's not yours she may have been a bit over dramatic but it's essentially no different than what the antagonist did uh, calling someone dumb may not be an issue for most but apparently it was for this woman she defended herself in a way she thought appropriate for the wrong she had to endure keyboard warriors are abound on the internet and especially towards females and this man ought to publicly apologize for instigating a situation that never would have occurred otherwise i think your comment deserves a post of its own in this sub his reddit profile intro tells you all you need to know anybody want to take a what a wild guess this whole thing was in relation to all right well guesses are up here we go because honestly it fits right into this whole sub you are me i'm officially accusing you of r e me. I expect your offing by 7 p.m. tonight. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay, before this goes farther, I've never met this person, and I hope never to. Blank has never touched me, and I pray he never will, and I hope he doesn't off himself to prove a childish point. He called me dumb, and I wanted to make a point. That's all. So sorry, and thank you. Ah, uh, yes, because that was totally an appropriate response to being called dumb, declaring that somebody did one of the most horrible things things you can do to a person. That seemed perfectly fine. One thing to take away from this statement is that you do hold true to what he said about you. You are dumb. One of the dumbest beings that can exist. Rand Paul today. It's time for us to resist. They can't arrest all of us. No one should follow the CDC. He then says he will introduce amendments to defund any government agency that seeks to enforce CDC guidelines, including schools. Wait a minute. Don't the government make the money, though? How can you defund the guys that make the money. Now look, it, both of us might have not been the best at math, but at least I can see when things don't add up. Tokyo attack. A knife-wielding man injures 10 on a train. A man attacked fellow passengers with a knife on a Tokyo commuter train late on Friday, injuring 10. The suspect, 36, allegedly told police he became angry when he saw women who looked happy and wanted to kill them, according to local media reports. One victim, a female student, is said to be seriously injured, while the others suffered less of your injuries. And if I remember correctly, those trains can at times get really, really packed, especially during rush hour times, so this could have been so much worse. Hopefully everybody makes a speedy recovery. I put animal products into people's food at work if they tell me they are vegan. Isn't there some sort of health problem that this can actually cause if you all of a sudden introduce, like, meat into somebody's diet if they've been vegan for such a long time? And just in general, sneaking stuff into people's food is never okay, whether it's this or if you're a vegan wanting to get somebody else to go vegan and they order a burger and then you give them the impossible meat stuff without them knowing, that's, that's not cool. Drunk driver who plowed into a mother and daughter gives the middle finger after walking free from court. The one thing that's always kind of confused me about drunk driving sentences is that it's always maybe like a year or two, even if the person died. Like, it just, it doesn't make any sense. You still killed the person, why is the sentencing less? Because you're inebriated? I was hard as a millionaire. Verbally, that is. I can no longer be silent. Coffeezilla abusively emmed me for views. Me too. He's been uh, inappropriately touching up photos of me and stalking me. Me too. Support survivors of harassment at milliontoken.org. I'm sorry, who is this sorry excuse for the sperm cell that made it through? Tech lead, not Coffeezilla. Tech lead is using me too and R to promote and sell his crypto scam. I didn't have much respect left for him, but it's all gone now. He's gone full villain. Hey, Blank, I saw that you were posting 
listening on the r slash forex subreddit. I used to do forex, but I just started getting into pumping. Pumping is when a huge group of people get together and buy the same asset at the same time. Our combined volume makes the price raise quickly and then we all sell for profit. Have you ever heard of anything like this or ever used it? It's been working pretty good for me. I'm not interested in scamming other people by manipulating the market in my favor. You have to be a real son of a W to find satisfaction in that. Honestly, I've, the only time I have ever seen this whole pumping be a good thing in any way, shape, or form was with the GameStop stuff where all of the guys on Reddit bought up all the stocks, increased the price, and then a lot of them became uh, millionaires, especially that one dude named Deep Effing Value. Plus, it also exposed Robin Hood for the sham it is. But yeah, trying to scam people is uh, definitely not good whatsoever. It's actually really trashy. As the team continued through the neighborhood, they noticed the man leaving in his vehicle, only to stop 100 yards up the road and throw an older dog from his vehicle before continuing out of the resort and south down west side road, the post continues. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.